Hello guys, how you doing? I have a fantastic gig review lined up for you, so stay tuned. So guys, you know I'm always going out. I'm going to gigs, listening to different kinds of music, gaining inspiration. Cause you know, I'm in the studio, I've been writing. So it's all helpful for me, just as much as it is for you to discover new music. Anyway, I digress. I went to an amazing gig at the Royal Festival Hall um, and it was for a night with David Rodigan. David Rodigan is not an artist in himself, but he's a DJ. And it was celebrating 40 years of him being in the business. Now, um, David Rodigan is a name that I've heard over the years, not intensely, but I've definitely, you know, seen and heard him do his thing. And what's funny about David Rodigan is that he's a white guy who's into Jamaican music. And <laughs> I mean, from the, on the, uh, from the surf, on the surface level, you think, oh, what do you know about um, Jamaican music or that kind of music? But he is like the UK's best pioneer for, I say best, and I use that loosely, but he's one of the most popular DJs spinning kind of dance hall, reggae, uh, ska, rock steady, that kind of music. Even in the church that I attended when I was really small, it was very heavily influenced by Jamaican music because the majority of the attendees were Jamaican. Now, um, I don't know what I was expecting because I think when I went there, I was thinking he's not an artist himself, so what exactly is gonna happen? However, what he did is he collaborated with a whole host of artists who have you know, pioneered any of those genres that I mentioned earlier in his 40 year career and introduced them to a stage with an orchestra. So you had an orchestra playing dance hall music, playing reggae music, playing rock steady and all that kind of music, which for in itself, I've never seen it happen and I don't know it ever has happened. So it was like a massive, like innovative idea to even think that Jamaican music and an orchestra would go together. the whole setup and I was like this looks amazing obviously Royal Festival Hall is a massive venue it's beautiful and it was also the day that there was a lot of snow so people um, from all kind of places up and down the country and I'm not just talking about London I'm talking about from Jamaica I'm talking about from America people came in for this gig because it's actually the first of its kind I don't know of anybody or anything like it so when everyone managed to get there which was an amazing feat bearing in mind if you've been in London or in the UK over the last couple of weeks the snow has literally crippled everything 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 so got in I love the Royal Festival Hall it's a great venue you can't really go wrong the sound was great so he basically gave a spiel about and I don't mean spiel as in that he wasn't talking he was talking rubbish he gave a talk about what he's um, career has meant to him, all the people that have um, contributed to making his show successful, uh, you know, the, the Jamaican and dancehall community accepting him and allowing him to pioneer Jamaican music. He talked about some of the people that he had lost along the way, people, artists and, you know, folk that he had worked with who, who are no longer with us and just paid homage to people who he felt were the founding uh, members or founding blocks of bringing that kind of music to the UK. So I thought that was a really nice touch. And then the orchestra came out and it just, I, I was like, how is this gonna work? I mean, I don't, it's not often that you see a conductor conducting music for reggae. It's just, I mean, it's the concept was very interesting. The night was phenomenal. I got my whole life, I got, I got to hear tunes from my childhood, tunes that I haven't heard, heard in years. And then obviously imagine hearing them being played like that. It's just mind blowing. And the orchestra themselves were a mixture of different people. They had a horn section, strings, percussion, um, and singers. It was, I mean, the, a great fusion, a great marriage of orchestral meets 
dance hall. So they had artists like Maxi Priest, Irie Tipper, Tipper Irie. Um, they had uh, like, they were basically features and they moved through each genre, picking different songs from the old school and the new school era. So you got a kind of coverage of a bit of everything. Um, I was blown away. They had artists like Protege. Ladies and gentlemen, from Kingston, Jamaica, please welcome on stage, back in London for this show only, Protege! A newer artist but he obviously paid homage to people like um, UB40 you know Ali from UB40 came and did a song and these are people that I knew way back when so for me it was very nostalgic and what I also really loved about it is that the audience and I'm gonna say I'm gonna just say it the audience was predominantly white and you know you can take what you will from that but jamaican music has influenced so many different people whether it be in the uk in america obviously in in its um, land of in origin and you could see how much people really connected and resonated with the music um i personally was like this is such a blessing to see people who are from the land that i grew up in obviously my mum's jamaican but i didn't grow up in jamaica i grew up in the uk and obviously the music that i listened to was from the caribbean but it's obviously tinged with a british kind of twist so you don't always get the kind of real authentic stuff unless you, it's imported but i felt like it, this was the real deal this is the real thing you got real artists in ragga in reggae in dance hall in rocksteady coming to sing the songs as they were written and i mean you can't really get more authentic than that i was absolutely captivated by the the diversity in the in the orchestra uh, i feel like it was a night to remember i definitely felt feel like it was an a groundbreaking event and I think they're going to be touring over the summer, I think, and they're doing, uh, doing the same gig up north for festivals and stuff like that. So it's going to be like a bigger project. And it was funded by the Arts Council, which I think is a massive, massive move, step forward for, for music of this type, because it is definitely a niche genre in the UK. So I was really pleased that the Arts Council are being really diverse with the, the funding that they give out for projects like this. But I definitely enjoyed the night. My friend Charlie was in the band. vocals oh i can't forget my friend james who was on cello it just felt like a great fusion of good musicians good artists and obviously david rodigan who brought them all together creating a, an amazing space for people to enjoy that genre of music well it's several genres because obviously these are all kind of different genres from jamaica so it's jamaican or music of jamaican origin would be a correct term to cover everything and I felt like I was back at home. I remember sending my mum a clip saying, Mummy, this song reminds me of you so much. Um, and it was so my my boy Lollipop. My, I remember my mum singing that song to me when I was a small child and I, it just stuck with me so it was good to hear it live and it was way before my time but the, the fact that it reminded me of her was like really endearing so guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this review hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos we post we post reviews I uh, post all these different um, artists every week well not every week we don't post reviews every week but we post reviews and, and gigs and we 
tell you who's out there so you can go and check them out so please do check out some of the artists that appeared in the gig follow us on instagram twitter facebook snapchat google plus we're always there so all that remains for me to say is don't forget to check out more good music and see you next time